Hey guys, it's Tiff here, and have you seen all of those image transfers using your jelly plate? Well, I have, and I've tried it before, and I was unsuccessful. However, today, I decided to let the camera roll, and I was able to have some success. So, I wanted to share with you guys the tips and tricks that I figured out to help you get the image transfer with your jelly plate to actually work okay so i'm going through and making some experiments here and this is a bizarre magazine that i'm using here and this image was the very first image where i even got remotely a particle of transfer okay so the problem here in the opportunity was the fact that the paint had already dried so I'm like okay calm down it's dry no problem so I went in with some white and this and I found that using um I did a few different things um so I did some um different colors so I tried deco arts I tried fluid acrylics I tried not fluid acrylics so I kind of like went around and did a few different types of um acrylics to see what works best I do think that the thinner fluid acrylics do work better but I did have success with some of the thinner um like cheap craft paints now this jelly plate was kind of new so I'm going to try a new jelly plate in this one and I'm also going to try an older jelly plate that's like green and as you can see I did get a transfer and I started hollering so this is going to be my green very well worn jelly plate that I'm going to try which is the one that I tried before so I'm putting some deco arts fluid acrylic down and I will say you have to figure out through trial and error how much do you actually need to put on there. And I felt like I put too much there. So as you see, I'm kind of brayering it off to the side and kind of thinning out that paint a little more. So I'm showing you the image. This is another one from Bazaar. And I'm going to press it down firmly. You don't have to leave it for a long time. Just press it and pull it back up. Oh boy, I was like, yes, this is freaking awesome. And now I'm going to try uh, deli paper. And this would make beautiful, awesome collage material. And ta-da, I pulled it right up. Sorry guys, I kind of forgot I was filming in part of this. So you'll see me kind of go back and forth. So now I'm going to use some super cheap craft paint that was um like on the thinner side in comparison to some of the other ones putting enough paint but not too much paint and then i'm going to go in and i'm just going to press firmly if you feel like you're getting bubbles i would recommend going from like the bottom to the top and with this one i'm going to print it on some number some paper in a book that had numbers on it it turned out I'm so happy so I would say that the thinner paints work better okay you will have to make sure that you kind of figure out how much is the right amount and you begin to kind of feel what you need it to um, actually um, be so you want it to be pretty thin um, to press down on it so I'm going to say thinner than my normal amount that I typically do with jelly printing um, to be able to use on that. And then as you see, I just pressed it down. I will say that I did try some different magazines. I believe Allure did not work for me. And I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to go in with the white. I think this is a really cool effect. So let the first image transfer dry on your plate and then pick it up and this time I did it with craft paper which I really love and if you follow me on Instagram you know that um but I would say that some magazines are going to work better than others I believe it was a lure that did not work very well I should have wrote this stuff down you see how that happens it's like dang what was the magazine that didn't work um L did not work 
Um, hold on one second. I'm going to go look at my studio real quick. Okay, so don't listen to that. Allure did work. Cosmopolitan did not work. And neither did um, L Magazine. I could not get any transfers um, to work on that. And as you see here, I'm actually trying some of um, the graphics of letters and words on the back. And I think this would have worked had I pressed it a little bit harder. But I did not. And it was kind of faint. And then I'm going to go in with black. And I don't think it really did much. The other thing I would say is um, if you have two brayers, using two brayers when you're going to do the white um, on the background would have worked a lot better. Okay, so this one is In Style. In Style magazine did work good. Is that a magazine? In Style? I guess it is. That was the cover, right? Surely. Um, so Bizarre, In Style, in style Allure, those work good for me. Cosmopolitan, I couldn't get anything to transfer. and Neither did I get the L magazine to work. So I will say that I felt like the pages in Cosmo were a little bit thinner maybe than the Bizarre and the other ones that I got. This one transferred really, really good and I was really excited about it. So, I think it's trial and error, but I will say if you do have um, maybe like a backup brayer, use two of those because what I noticed with only using one brayer was the fact that my brayer would still have some of that color on there. And then I would come back. Well, where in the world? I guess I forgot to pull that one for y'all. I'll try to show it in the comments. Sorry about that. Um, this one I'm going to actually try and do a light color on it. So, my point to the previous statement, because I have ADD and I get lost, um, was that you should have a second brayer to do the color or either clean off that brayer as you're going through. Because, see, that one didn't turn out at all. And I knew it wasn't, so I just, I just pulled it and said, okay, move along, move along. So, the point of the story is, is if you've tried it before, try it again. Don't give up, okay? Um, it is a really fun process, and I could totally get addicted to this. Um, and I probably would have done, a, like, 100 prints had I not had to go to the chiropractor. But play around with different paints. Try the fluid acrylics. Um, they, I did have some Artist Loft paints. Those are super affordable and um, turned out very good. Also, if you have some of the thinner craft paints, like that one that I have, have been marked down on clearance for like 25 cents and it was super thin. I think that the thin helps. The other thing I want to make sure that I mention is to think about um, the contrast in the photo. So, I did have some darker complected ladies that I was trying to get a pull on. And the color in the face and the shadow did not give a good enough contrast. So, if you have black and white photos, use those. I did, I'm not sure if I was actually um, filming when I did the rosy, the Riveter one, but it turned out really good, and I did it with craft paper, and the black and white, and I think for her, I put a little magenta in there, but you want to make sure that you put down a darker color, because it is going to um, show the features um, better, so it's really just trial and error, guys, but before, I got zero transfer. Like, I didn't get anything the previous time. And the only thing that I could come up with, because I tried, like, old jelly plate, new jelly plate, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I am going to show y'all how to do the Rosie Riveter. Oh, yay! This was my favorite one, I think. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just going to pull out a bunch of images. <laughs> um, but I, I hope I did film it, because it was a really good one. But what I would say is um, try different magazines try to find some at like Goodwill or your thrift store that's super affordable because 
Um, like I say, you could totally get very addicted to this process because Kali is so much fun. And as you see, if you're using multiple colors, try to mix those colors together on your plate and you can pull off some of the paint. And the reason I say kind of mix them together is it can be a little bit splotchy. And don't worry, like if you get a little bit of beating up on there, I got a little bit of beating up on there too. Um, where the paint was just fluid and kind of beat it up, but it turned out looking pretty cool. So to see how her, um, light her face is because of the contrast. And then I also used some tracing paper. Now this was pretty cool. So it's going to give a great collage, um, component for you to use in your journal or canvas or whatever you want to do it on and then it's also going to allow you to be able to put like prints and stuff in the back I like to do that on image transfers anyway so this is kind of a new way um, that I can incorporate that in my journal so I encourage you to try it again try some of the thinner paints grab different magazines have fun explore um, use different um, papers. Most of these I did on cardstock, deli paper, or tracing paper. Yay! Now I'm going to finally use Rosie, who turned out awesome. And as you see, I'm getting a little bit more bold because I think I've figured it out. So I'm mixing that magenta, which is a fluid um, artist loft, and the turquoisey blue, which is... Um, that would be Deco Arts uh, Media Fluid, which I really love that product. It's a great pigment um, for the price. You can't beat it. And I believe this is going to be my final pull. So, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Really, 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 I'm encouraging you to try again if you've tried before. Let me know what your success is. Make sure you go hit the subscribe button. Give me the thumbs up and leave me a comment. Until next time, guys. Toodaloo!